Let's talk about the George Zimmerman Trayvon Martin case. The jury selection has started yesterday. I was watching a, a while while I was just doing work at my desk of the jury selection. And yesterday, George Zimmerman was basically doing nothing. He just sat there. And my guess is that he was told overnight at some point, listen, you should really try to look more engaged. So today he had like a pad of paper and he was looking very pensive and taking a lot of notes. But I really am curious. What kind of notes would the accused be taking during jury selection? Like, how could those notes be of any consequence? And I ask this honestly. He was probably just drawing pictures of dead black kids. No, come on, Lewis. I don't know. You don't think he cares about this at all? You think he's completely... Dis oh, of course he cares about this. No, but in the sense that you think he's completely divorced from reality, he thinks there's no question here at all, and he's he thinks he did the right thing by killing Trayvon Martin. I don't know what he thinks about what he did. I mean, I'm sure he... He wanted to to shoot someone, and I, I think he did what he wanted to do. I don't I don't know how he feels afterwards. During the jury selection, Zimmerman's attorney kept asking the potential jurors, who you don't see, they're like off camera, but you hear them. They start asking questions about news consumption, and I know exactly what they're going for. They're trying to figure out is this someone someone who believes the Fox News narrative or isn't it? And they're very good at doing it, but we of course know what they're doing. They say, so tell me about news coverage. Like what what have you watched? And they'll say. I don't know. I don't watch too much news. I just watched a couple of stories. Interesting. Do you have cable TV? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. So what, what channels do you tend to watch? And they say, oh, I don't know. Whenever I turn my TV on, like it goes right to the, to the local affiliate, local station. And I know exactly where they're going. And then they say, right. So, you know, there's these networks, there's networks like, I don't know, you know, there's CNN. They never mentioned Fox news first. There's CNN and there's MSNBC or headline news. And then there's Fox news. Do you tend to like the coverage on one more? You know, do you pr prefer or watch the coverage on one over the other? And they're really trying to assess based on, is this a Fox News viewer? What do we think? I mean, and, and I guess it's not it's not stupid of them by any means. It's smart, but it's just amazing how it's just the, the entire it's thing. it's come to that. It's come to that, yeah. exactly. And then also questions about whether a lot of these 911 calls that George Zimmerman made should be part of this trial. Now, a lot of people said, hold on a second. If... Trayvon Martin's past and and his um, uh, smoking weed or getting suspended from school. If that's not relevant to the case, then the fact that George Zimmerman has called 911 in the past also shouldn't be relevant. However, I don't know that I agree with that because as a victim, Trayvon Martin having been suspended a year before or however long before it was, six months before, that's not actually relevant to this case given that he had never met George Zimmerman before. However, if George Zimmerman has a history of calling 911 about minorities who are in his neighborhood, that actually could be relevant. And let's listen to one of those phone calls, which, which may or may not be part of this trial. This is Renee. Hey, can I get an officer? Your name? George. What's going on there, George? I'm with the Neighborhood Watch, and we've had some uh, burglaries and vandalism lately. And... Uh, this gentleman was walking in the neighborhood that I've seen before on trash days, going around picking up trash. I don't know what his deal is. Is he white, black, or Hispanic? It's black. What is he wearing? He's wearing a black leather jacket, a black bomber hat. Black <laughs> what he's, oh, he's wearing a bomber hat. Um, so do you, do you think these should be part of the case? Well, I mean, if you're trying to highlight his paranoia... Uh, or perhaps some racial motivation, hmm. then, yeah, probably. Um, at the same time, I mean, if if Trayvon Martin was someone who got into a lot of fights, maybe that would be re uh, relevant. I don't know. Well, but then you start getting into, is getting into fights indicative of, d does that warrant being shot to death? And it could only taint the perception of this particular crime, don't you think, Natan? Uh, both both uh, things could be relevant. The idea that uh, Zimmerman was kind of obsessed with this neighborhood watch uh, volunteer job that he had, and he would sort of obsessively pursue people, and also that Trayvon might have been uh, a fighter. I mean, both things could be relevant to establishing what happened in this case. Uh, a lot of the Trayvon stuff has been thrown out by the judge. We'll hear about what of, of George Zimmerman's history will be included. Let's take a break. Coming up next, Lee Fong will talk to us. He's been filing some Freedom of Information Act requests relating to Obamacare, and it is very compelling what he has come up with. Stay with us for that report from Lee Fong next.
The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.